Mike from the Utah Fishing Channel today and we are at Fish Lake hoping to get some perch and maybe some of the bigger trout species if we can find them but really we just want to have a fun day catching as much fish as possible but it's uh, super windy as you can see so uh, we're going to try to get the tent up as fast as we can. All right, here's the first perch of our outing. Um, we've just been sight fishing down there and it was just literally maybe one, two minutes before we got this guy out of the hole. Got him. Oh, come on. Hey, that's a bigger size one. Oh, sweet. Way to go. He that broke, was very unexpected. He broke the line right when I came. I was like, that's a huge perch. Well, he's not ready to be done fighting. I pulled him out way too fast, but it's a nice rainbow. Way to go. Oh, and we're going to oh. get punched in the eye by that. My line's too long. I'm reeling a little bit. There we go. Another fish. Here he comes. <laughs> Come on, fish. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, oh. Come on, Fisher. Come on. Come on. Oh, <laughs> ejected. This is on the bigger end of the size of perch we're catching today, so uh, we're not getting like big perch by any means, but definitely enough to keep us occupied and fun. They're so pretty, too. There's another one. Hey, it's actually not too tiny. All right, I think I won smallest fish of the day award. This guy. Okay, just a quick update. We've moved to deeper water to target more trout. Um, I've never caught a splake or a lake trout before, so it's something I'm kind of excited to maybe catch, but um, we've seen a lot of stuff. So far, nothing's really bit our baits and lures, but... Um, We'll give this a, a few more minutes. We've seen stuff on the camera too here. And then if nothing comes of that, we'll probably just go back to the perch weeds. So just a quick detail for Fish Lake. Um, there's a weed bed that runs along this entire western side. There's a steep drop off. So right here where we have our tent is 20 feet. And just right here where the chairs and stuff are um, is about half that. So there's about a 10 foot drop from uh, this point to this point. So it's a good uh, kind of transition area to target both uh, perch and the trout species. So we're finding there's these little deeper openings in the weeds where there's kind of more of a hole. And literally I could fish in this hole and catch half as many fish as him as he fishes in that hole. It's crazy. So it all depends on if you found a hole in the weeds down there where they kind of congregate. It's pretty cool. You have any looking at it? Yeah, I've got a bunch, but they're just... They're so tiny? Well, they're just not committing. Weird. I, I gotta change what I have on there. They're just not interested. Good one? Yeah. Nice. Right when you... Whenever you're ready. Nice. Nice. Little fatty. <laughs> Go round two. Oh, well, shoot. There goes that one. Oh, he cut off right at the hole. Oh, dang it. decided to keep we caught a bunch more than this. But that's plenty for us to eat. Okay, so that was a blast at Fish Lake today. 
Uh, we ended up catching around probably 50 perch or so. We lost track after like 15, but, um, and then just the one rainbow, and we saw lots of splake. Um, just a little information on the lake that I forgot to cover while we were there. The ice is about eight inches thick, um, and it seemed pretty stable, um, you know, a few hundred yards out into the lake, but the, the lodge was telling us that there are some unsafe areas like deep out in the lake, so just be careful if you go out there, but definitely a blast catching all those perch. Anglers are highly encouraged to keep any perch that they take out of Fish Lake, and this fish is one of my favorites, so if you go, make sure you catch a bunch and take them home to eat. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.